Ah, hello. Morning, evening, whatever. Somewhere in the world. But uh, not here in the Missing Hunters, but... Yeah, we stream again from under... Uh, uh, Strad's toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Right, We're so little vampires in the afternoon. Now we Blah. <laughs> well, we sparkled about two weeks earlier, so... Yeah, fair enough. So, welcome back to another exciting episode of you sitting with us chatting on entirely too epic music for this. But maybe for some of you, this episode's gonna bring back some epic memories, like uh, not managing to slay Cthulhu in uh, vanilla. Your guild being destroyed by Ragnarok himself. The completely underwhelming 25-man raid against Arthas himself. Yeah, he was killed in a cool moment, not by a very cool NPC, not, and not by the players, not. The brave. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, by, by, by the way, the, the new the new Nazaf exposition and all that bullshit this that doesn't really make any fucking, sense. But it's really fucking cool, you know what? They, uh, the look, cinematicness of it. The cinematicness, but look, they... they you, you know Lord, 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 Pooh, Lord, mm. Lord of the Rings, you're a fanatic, yeah. right? So, you remember the music on uh, Two Towers? Yeah. Okay, take out the first two notes, it's the same. I didn't notice before, thank you for ruining it for me. It's oh, absolutely the crazy. same music without the first notes. Then you have the, the Nazaf Tower crumbling, the eye destroying. I don't know how to feel about this other than bad. They say it's an homage. Every good content stealer says that. So About that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be reviewing, uh, rather overlooking, um, and a candid first impression again, like we used to do back in the day. I think you found the uh, World of Warcraft Heroes yes. Handbook. Yeah, so uh, I've been obsessed about this for a while. And last year sometime I did find it before we had these grand ideas about sharing our opinions with people. Um, it's called Warcraft Heroes Handbook. It's a it's a homebrew document made by a number of uh, both WoW and D&D fanboys, of course. But uh, they have their own Discord. They have yes, their own Reddit. And mostly the credits should go to the lead lead designers and writers, uh, Tangerine Jich, and uh, you can find them on Reddit under Jichia and Tangerine Thunder. Uh, of course, there's a lot of contributions from uh well the cover were made by uh, robert maldonado yes and illustrations are a all lot. throughout the book made yep. by uh, about this many people <laughs> a lot of people yeah so it's a really uh, at least at first impression a really cool document Let we're gonna we're gonna post yeah, the um the, the link well i mean you can find it on on if you if you google the warcraft heroes handbook for fifth edition you can find it uh, amongst the first couple of links. They even have a hel helpful uh, Reddit no, post no. with uh, with all the Google Drive files. So um, they, they've released this. They've released a monster handbook for uh, World of Warcraft monsters. And they're playtesting the classes in this document continuously and, and uh, improving on if them. If you want to follow them on Reddit, it's r slash WC5E. Uh, they have their own subreddit, right? Yep. And, uh, you should give them a look. It's pretty cool stuff. Everyone is OP. Everything's fun. Uh, yeah, no. So, uh, forward, our very own forward. Before we, uh, we go into this, everything's ludicrous. But when everything's ludicrous and slightly imbalanced, everything's cool, right? Yeah. So, let's just throw ourselves right into this. So, table of contents. Yes. So, this document is pretty. I mean, for a homebrew thing, it's massive, right? Even comparable with some of the uh, official books, it's got about 150 so pages, like including the artworks and everything. And uh, it's got races, it's got classes. By the way, all of them up until I, th I think Battle for Azeroth, and some, some like the Void Elf and uh, Nightborn. You, have you know, the words on Nightborn. Yeah. So you got Void Elves over here and Nightborns. On page uh, uh, yeah. 37. So you have a bit of... You have a bit of Battle for, battle for Azeroth. Mm. And I think it's it's uh, live up under Legion, right? A bit of Legion, Void Elf and Nightborn. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. In BFA, they have nothing from BFA. Well, no, they don't have the allied races. No. Most of them. Well, you got those. This is the allied races. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, uh, as classes, you have the classical ones. You have everything. 
Yeah, we've got absolutely every class. Well, the DK and a Demon Hunter are kind of off there. Yeah, they're uh, they're premium, literally prestige classes. You can take them from uh, character level five onwards. So they kind of force you to multi-class into them. And you know what? Okay, well, because story, they're really story-wise, it, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. They pump you up pretty good. Uh -huh. Is that understood? Yeah, no, I took I took and a look uh, over them uh, last week, and, and if your uh, DM is kind to you, you, sh you should have a fucked up quest together, like a cheap quest, right? Like anything. Yeah, losing so, personality is something. <laughs> something, something. Either you way, have to sacrifice everything twice <laughs> for the DK and the Demon Hunter. Can you multi-class them both? <laughs> I mean, I in mean, D &D. you know, uh, strangely enough, they're not uh, exclusive one to the other, so you could. The, that the that activates my guy. I mean, the prerequisite is five levels, so. Uh... Yeah, you could just dip into both of them if you want to completely <laughs> ruin your concept, <laughs> but bring your uh, perfect. Um... OC to life. <laughs> OC to life. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so if you want to be Sonic, there you fucking go. Oh, God. Uh, a, uh, a blue DK with super speed that can uh, double jump in the air and the wings. That could also transform into a demon for a short period of time. And one of the big ones, right? Yep. So, uh, in, a, in other words, ugh. And uh, you also have personalities and backgrounds uh, based on the WoW uh, universe and lore, based on Azer Azeroth itself. And you have equipment because you really need a lot of equipment to get that MMO looter feeling. <laughs> then you've got some more uh, racial feats and. Uh, multi-classing options based on this PDF, then you've got custom spells. Oh, you know, the, but the only reasonable side, you, you, you have the emo elf, so you could. And if I don't see death coil today, I'm deleting this yeah. PDF. Oh, you have hero computer. points. Yes, you have hero points and mana as variant rules. And those are awesome. Yeah. And Shape then you've got you've demon. got lists, right? Shape oh. shifts for, uh, for, the, for the druids. Does it include some starting adventures? Uh, you got special tasks, so maybe for maybe. the for the uh, premium for the DKDH. But either way, uh, they've got a second PDF with full of monsters. Maybe that one includes special adventures. I don't know. Well, We're about to see if it's good enough. I may run a one shot. Please do. I really want to have pauldrons. <laughs> okay. oh, whoever is an orc and warrior, yeah. No, 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 no. Everyone's got pauldrons, there, oh, buddy. Okay, sure. Come on. Sure. I just don't want to see beyond like about 60 degrees east-west <laughs> from my north. Either way. Yeah, we're good. It's good. Yeah, that's it's good. good. It's good. So, after successfully scooting, let's embark on this wonderful adventure. Hello, Mediv. Goodbye, Mediv. So, part one. Creating a hero. Let's Hel see what you've got Hello, to choose Hello, Cthulhu. Bye, Cthulhu. Oh, the ass. It just does not make sense <laughs> at all. Why not? It's, it's it's what? It's cool. It's fucking what? It's no, cool. what class is that? No, that's a ranger or a hunter as you know it in WoW. I'm scrolling. So, races. Of course, uh, there's an incentive to RP the ongoing eternal conflict in World not of Warcraft. Anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be it again. I'm just, I have faith, okay? Sure. Yeah, so. You've races exclusive to the Horde and to the Alliance. And but uh, they give you reasons. They can they, give they, you They give you reasons yeah. fled from their faction. They witness the mur uh, members of their faction doing horrible things. You can the characters fled from their faction? Yeah, you, you, you can justify being an Alliance Horde race by some degree if you mm -hmm. want to. Or, you know, so it can to be a special snowflake. Yeah, to keep the party way. together. Yeah, no, that's cool, something. that's cool. Or you can be an orcan born in the alliance, which is pretty fucking weird, but okay. You mean by the latest trailers, um... You can be, uh, eight. alliance fluid. <laughs> there you fucking go. Okay, so... Races! I don't think we have to spend a lot of time on this, what but... the classical races, yeah, but so we're gonna read through their own, uh, buffs. Yeah. Let's just see if they line up, right? King so, Varian here, pretty races much of the Alliance, paying homage to the one brave boy of the Alliance. And to the boys in blue. 
The boys in blue we and gold. Blue. Come on. Yeah, we, we are both alliance players, so uh, we're yeah. gonna lose about 50% of our stream. Oh god, they have they have yep, class yep. class for race. Yep, so they, they've got suggestions of class for race, but either way. The races are the humans, the dwarves of Ironforge, the dwarves of Wildhammer. Nice. Because you've, you've got sub yeah, races yeah, on yeah. some of them. You've got the Night Elves, the Gnomes, the Exodar, and the Broken oh, Draenei. Broken Draenei. Yep, you've got Broken Draenei. They Draenite. should be cool. So, whatever. Sure, the suggested classes are nice. Post cataclysm it fills the fuck up. Well, so, they have the Void, the, the War Gun, the Light Force Draenei, so they have yep, them as well. Yep, they do. Broken Exodar Draenei, the Gnome, and the Night Elf, and the Dark Iron Dwarves. Yeah, and they do have the Lava Dwarves. Yeah. Nice. And only Elves can be Demon Hunters. Ugh. Superior races. You're telling yourself that, buddy. Oh, ah, yeah. So, let's find out. So, humans, humans. Your humans. love. Yes, my love. They are faithful. <laughs> yes, they are. See, unlike other races, humans tend to be. Whatchamacallit? They tend to have standards. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's about religion, right? So, humans in Azeroth are very much faithful to gods, to the religion. Yeah. And that's why they spawn a lot of uh, glowy <laughs> fighters. <laughs> but they are around five feet tall, as they put it. What? Five to, feet to a little, little over, over six feet Yeah, tall. no, but that's that's kind of reasonable I for know. humans. I know, but I read only the five feet, so it was funny. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's find out. Sure, they give you a lot of uh, naming tables for Lordaeron, for Stormwind, for Stormguard. That, that, that's cool, though. For Dalaran, too. Oh, shit. Yeah. And Alderaan Valley. <laughs> The if humans he, under constant conflict. If, if you finally want to play on an RP server and uh, e extreme RP your way through it, no, you can do it. No, no, no. God damn it. Right. Come on, it's a mix so of let's, so. let's go for the human traits. Before we spawn our very own cult. Yeah. And we lost half of our viewers, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, extreme RPing. <laughs> yes, I don't think it was because of that. Either way, fuck you, horde players. So, the. Let's say what they got. They get one ability score of your choice increased by two and another one increased by one. So they're closer to variant humans. But they're, they're... Let's see, let's see. Alignments are pretty much Ad out of the bat. less than a century. Yeah, medium classical. size, 30 feet speed. You gain proficiency in one skill or two of your choice. That's good, that's good. Uh, you get human resolve. When you make an attack roll or ability check or saving throw or any roll whatsoever, you know, whatever, but it has to be with a d20, you can do so with advantage. Once you use this ability, you can't use it again in until you finish your short or longest. This is very similar to the Prodigy feat in uh, Base 5e. Yeah. And it's almost exactly the same. Then you've get, you get languages, of course. Whatever. You get several languages, and that's it, huh? It is pretty. Your white bread. It's very, it's very balanced. Surprisingly balanced. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no variant humans. No. Yeah, no variant humans. God damn it. Well, Can't you have you have ve variant names. You can be for from Gilnas, and they have uh, some racial features for everyone. So Gilnas, they are amber skinned with blue or gray eyes. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You can you can flavor your human a lot. So guess what? Humans do have variety. Yeah, and now one of my loves. Yeah, the go dogs. ahead. I have a bit of lore. So let's go straight past that because we all know Ooh. it. Yeah. So you can be Dark Iron Dwarf. Okay. Iron Fortress. Oh, let, shit. Let, let's, a lot yeah, of... let's see the, okay, so the classical dwarf. dwarves, yeah. dwarven traits. Yeah. It's your constitution by increased by two. Okay. They reach the maturity on 40 and they live about 320. That's a bit better than classical DD. A DMD. bit. 20, okay. 20 bit. Yeah, 20 bit. That's good. Okay, alignments, they tend to be lawful. Oh, they're right. between 4 and 5 feet tall. Huh. Size medium. Uh -huh. 25 feet, so. Yeah, the it's, dwarf is slower again. It's a uh, 3.5. No, 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 even in 50 dwarfs. In 50? No, only gnomes. Oh, they changed it around again. Yeah, yeah. So, so it harkens back indeed to 3.5 dwarfs and Pathfinder dwarves, which are slower. Okay, you get dark vision for 60 feet, you get stone cunning, so you know much about stone. That's like a base, right? Yeah, language is common and dwarven and a sub race. Now, as a dwarf, you have three sub races. Yep. You can be a dark iron dwarf, 
mm-hmm. which raises your intelligence further by one. You, you get fire, fire blood. blood, where you can cast a lesser re- restoration spell on yourself. Huh. Once per long rest. That's good. You get forged in flames, which is resistance to fire. You get superior da- dark vision. And However. Sunlight sensitivity. Nice. And uh, not like the draw, you cannot be adapted. Well, no, because like, you stem from deep within yeah. the mountain, you're always going to be like that. Then you can be the white bread of the dwarves, an iron force dwarf. Yep. They have uh, the strength increased by another one. You have Dwarven Toughness, which your maximum hit points increases by one every level. Wow. So it's a small it's, tough. It's a half it's a tough. It's a half tough. Then you it's have a toughie. Then you have proficiency with light armor, battle access, heavy crossbow, and firearms. Oh, right, because this uh, document does, does give you the variant uh, ranged yep. firearms. Yep. And dwarves can do that. And you get stone form. Dwarves can do guns. <laughs> You can use your reaction upon being hit by a melee weapon attack to give yourself resistance toward, towards non-magical no, damages. No, 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 not towards non-magical, towards bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Well, there magical. Is, there, there's all the non- non-magical damage. No, 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 but... but, but towards bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Yeah. It doesn't say well, non-magical. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, by overcoming Mo, resistances. But I was talking about non-magical and the fact that it's not fire, it's not mm, psychic, sure, sure, it's sure, sure, not... Sure, sure, Not elemental yeah. or not higher elemental. But I think with WoW's, like, high magic, really high magic yeah. setting, Marvelous. I think you should gain resistance to magical types of that damage as well. Right? Well, they it should It does be. make sense, right? Well, if it's a magical weapon that does bludgeoning damage, I'll still rule it as your resistance to the mm-hmm. bludgeoning That's damage. what I mean, that's what I mean, yeah. Then you have the Wild Hammer Dwarf. <laughs> I love this. The Wild Hammer Dwarves are untamed in comparison. I'm just imagining <laughs> very, very angry a little mini dwarf. Wolverine. Yeah. So, your wisdom is increased by one. Mm-hmm. You are brave beyond reason. You have advantage on saving throws against being frightened. You are a griffon rider. Oh, that's cool. Where you gain proficiency with animal handling and advantage on animal handling checks. Towards Griffins. Specifically. Yeah. That's so cool. And you have Dwarven Resilience. You have advantage on it's saving poisons. throws against Poisons. Right. The only Dwarven race that yep. can do it. Oh, my first female character. <laughs> Hello. Well, it is the Night Elf. Well, I would argue that the Blood Elves, but... No, no, I mean, uh, it was it was my first female character. Yeah? Yeah. You like them? Better. Look, human females, they are blander than white bread. Well, they like the human. While I do appreciate my death knight, everything else is non-human. Well, the elven DK is the classical, right? Eh? And, no. and we write mixing. No. Go away, fame. <laughs> I'll stick with my controversial opinions, thank you. So, uh, the the night elf, I believe, uh, do they have any sub? No, they don't. Well, okay. They are the night so, elves. Night elves, classical night elves. Elder still the night, uh, night elves. Yeah. They get their dexterity increased by two and wisdom increased by one. They age uh, several thousands of years old. Well, by lord, they are immortal. Yep, yep, yep. It works, it works. I'm curious how they flavor the brewery here. I don't think they have the right thing. I don't know, man. They have the emerald drill. It's the same thing. Well, not really. They no, functionally, I mean. Sure, 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 whatever. <laughs> Either way, so, uh, they... With butt alignments, they don't get any particular alignments. But they are fucking tall. Yes, they are. They're between seven and eight feet tall and weigh between 210 and 250 <laughs> They're pounds. massive. They are fucking incredibly massive. One backhand from a tribal hell guy, you're gone. Yeah. All right. Um, their speed is 35 because of them long legs. <laughs> and they have uh, classical dark vision. Keen Senses, which functions exactly like the base uh, Elven Keen Senses. Gives you proficiency in perception. Yeah. Uh, Nature Resistance. uh, Poison. Poison. Yep. Exactly like the ones with the dwarves. They get Shadow Melt. You can attempt to hide when you are only lightly obscured by foliage, heavy rain, falling snow. It's like the Wood Elves. Yep. And they get their own weapon training. The Kaldori Weapon Training. You're proficient in longbows, Kaldori moon glaives, Kaldori moon swords, and war glaives. Hello. Fucking hello. They can throw frisbees. Yes. 
Sharp friends. <laughs> Sharp friends. <laughs> they can speak common and Darnassian. Darnassian is fluid with subtle intonations and intricate grammar. Fuck you, nerds. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Our bane of existence. Uh, this one's yours. Fucking no. You get the short races today. I I'm, get I'm, the short <laughs> races today. I will get the drain, I know. <sighs> sure, you can take it. Sure. As long as I get the orc. You get the orc. All right. So they are tinkerers, classical, they oh, are cheerful expression. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> of course. So the gnome traits. You, your intelligence is increased by two and your charisma by one. You mm. ate. Yeah. What? You're charismatic, you're a little shit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, gnomes m uh, mature at the same rate as humans do, and are expected to settle down into adulthood life by around 40. They live between 350 to 500. They outlive dwarves. They outlive dwarves. Wow. They are normally good hearted. Mm -hmm. uh, gnomes are between 3 and 4 feet tall. <laughs> Uh, your size is small and your speed is 25 feet. <laughs> so, they have artificers to love. Alright. Uh, lore. lore. Yeah, lore. When you make an intelligence of history check related to magic items and chemical objects or technological devices, you can add twice your proficiency bonus oh. in the, of any proficiency So bonus. it's a very specialized expertise. Yeah. Alright, alright. Da. Da. Ivan, <laughs> they, they see in the end to Neric. <laughs> they get dark vision. <laughs> For 60 feet, they are an escape artist. You can move through tiny spaces. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. And uh, underneath larger creatures. That's cool though. Yeah. That's, that one's cool. You though. have gnome cunning, advantage on all intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws against magic. Wow. They got a lot of features. Yeah. And gnomish engineering. You get proficiency with artisan tools. Or tinker tools. Yeah. Using those tools, you can spend one hour and 10 gold worth of materials to construct a construct a tiny clockwork device <laughs> of AC5 and HP1. These devices cease to function after 24 hours unless you spend another hour repairing them. So oh kind of like a uh, one of my skeletons from, from the stream. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, it, it's exactly the same thing, however... They can be of three kinds. Mm -hmm. You can make a clockwork toy, which is an animal, a monster, a person, something small. When placed on the ground, the toy moves five feet across the ground on each of its turns in a random direction. It makes noises I as appropriate like to the this. creature. I kind of like this. Well, it's pretty cool. Yeah. You uh, either a fire starter. Which is basically a lighter. Me, the device that produces a miniature flame. Yeah, you have a zippo. <laughs> Which, you know, it takes you an hour just to, to carve cringy, but uh, yeah, cool like wolves and stuff like that yeah. into the side. <laughs> And Thank then, you. And then you have the music box. When open, the music who? Oh, this music box plays a single song at a moderate volume. They're so polite about it. The box stops playing when it reaches the song's end or when it's closed. You so, wait. It's a one-use music box. <laughs> All right. You can speak, write, and write common and gnomish. Yep. Uh, which sounds like dwarven. Uh, which looks like dwarven, but sounds a bit nah. different. Oh. Then you have my other love. You want this one? I, I want it. Go ahead. Sure. Have the Draenei. Oh my god, I'll get the wolf boy. <laughs> get the wolf boy. So, Come on, Draenei. The, those boys are cool. Yeah, no, they are. They're, they're my second favorite in the alliance, I think. Yep. So, you have the alien appearance, the affiliation towards them. Yeah, yeah, okay, space goats. Next. Space goats. They give you some name. Oh, and Duke. they have uh, three or two or three? Three. They have one, two, three. 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 All right. Subtypes. So, so, subtypes. so the, the base train. Right. Your ability score is increased by two in wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, is reach their adulthood by 20 years old and can live up to extraordinary age, become thousands of years old after exceeding the ancient ages ages of night elves. Must be that uh, alien physiology. <laughs> yeah. Well, they 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 do. Be like yeah, that sometimes. Eredar Lord of yeah, the trifling gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Uh, they are mostly good. Their size, again, is between like the elves, 7 and 8 feet tall. Wow. They somehow muscular, and their size is medium. Wait, excuse me, what? Yeah. No, no, no. 
You are somewhat oh God. muscular. Oh God! Why, why, why would you describe it in such detail? No, 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 why? no. Because they do be like that. Then your press. <laughs> your speed walk is of thirty feet, so not like the elves mm -hmm. because of the hooves. Uh, you get resistance against necrotic damage from shadow re resistance. That is fucking cool. I guess the, the shadow now is necrotic, and then light and naru is. Uh, uh, it's radiant, it's yeah. Radiant. I, well, uh, they're gonna explain it, especially okay. if, if we reach the cleric the thing, yeah. So, you can speak, read, and write common and Draenei. The Draenei language is strange and complicated language for other la races to learn, seemingly having no resemblance, resemblance with any Azerothian languages. Much like our own. Yeah. <laughs> subrace, you get three subraces. Right. First of all is the broken Draenei. The ones without the noses? They're, they th I don't know that much about Draenei. Okay, the, Dren the Broken Draenei were left on Draenor uh, as the Legion invaded. Uh -huh. So are the ones that got corrupted. So the ones without noses. The one without noses. All right, that's, a, that's all I wanted to hear. Yeah, I, I guess. Can you be a female without a nose? Yes. I want to make things so awkward at, our, at your one a shot. A bard. I was, thank you. But I don't think you have any bards in this. So the uh, other way, uh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, being disconnected from the Naru gives you that physiognomy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but your constitution is increased by one. <laughs> Gonna be tough to be that ugly. <laughs> yeah. You have dark vision and elemental blood. What? Are, what's you that? know the frostbite can trip when you reach third level, and you can oh, cast the earth tremor spell once per long rest. When you reach 5th level, you can also cast the Gust of Wind spell once per long rest. And Wisdom is your spellcasting ability for this one. That's interesting. Are you are a base feed shamanistic? Yeah, 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 a bit, a bit. I mean, in the in their interpretation, yeah, shamanistic. In general, if you lore, the shaman, though, yeah. We'll reach that at class. Yes, yes. So, then you have the, the Exodar Draenei. Which are the cool ones, right? The well, base ones. Th those who reached Azeroth. Yeah without demons. <laughs> so, your ability score, your strength is increased by one. You get gem cutting, proficiency with jewelry tools. Huh. You get the gift of Naru. As an action, you can touch a creature and cause it to regain a number of hit points equal to your level. Oh, so it's not like a paladin thing, it's a set number. Yeah, it's a ratio from the game, uh -huh, so uh -huh. you can use it once, once per, just once per long, long rest. Yep. Then you get the heroic presence, which is yeah, you I can know. cast heroism and divine favor with this trait using your wisdom as your spellcasting ability for them. Once you cast either of the spell, you can't cast it again until you finish a short or long rest. Short rest, though. Okay. I can. I can. I can yeah. get behind that. I can get yeah. behind that. I kind of like the race even I mean, more. Heroism fits more than divine favor. Well, they are seen as somehow paragons of good. In Somehow my ass, they're seen like exactly Okay, parallel. then the Light Force Draenei. The Chandelier <laughs> Goats. Please explain me these goats in detail, sir. Go ahead. They really hate li the Legion. Oh, that's it. Li 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 Wait, that's it? Yeah. I've been disconnected with WoW since before Legion. Since they are late they to mid-game Legion. So, uh... Yeah, you somehow gift yourself to the Naru and the Crusade against the Burning Legion. You are so devotee that you get. Pa, 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 pa. Do they swear a vow of chastity? No, if you're really then. But no, they they, they don't. Okay. Because <laughs> like it sounds. No, you like basically kind of you're Draenei and you infu infuse your body with the Naru, with mm. the light energy, making you special. It's kind of a it's kind of a light side possession yeah. Yeah, yeah. symbiosis Ma thingy. Making you a classical palette. <laughs> Without even having to be one. Oh, of course. So can you be a paladin warlock? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't allow it, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get your charisma increased by one. Okay. Because you're yeah, a warlock okay. apparently. Uh, uh -huh. Forged by the light. Mm. Uh, the holy light ward oh, envelops shit. you when you aren't wearing armor. Your so AC is 12 plus your dexterity modifier. You can use your natural armor to determine your AC. If the armor type you wear would leave you with a lower AC. All right, that's cool. Uh, a shield benefits apply as normal while you use the natural oh, armor. This is the good version of natural armor. Great, yeah. that's great. So even though it's not as good as an armor defense type thingies. To be honest, I would uh, 
you know, after a long quest, if you devote yourself, if you go through the Burning Legion, do all those kind of things. Allow a normal Draenei to uh, become Lifeforge? Uh, to become Lifeforge and they could cast shield, even they, even if they are not a caster. Nah. At higher levels, it doesn't no, the make thing that, is, that much difference. See, I know, I know, but the thing is, uh, how many times a day, you know? Well, it depends on how good you are. <laughs> you had this many good points. Yeah. Uh, just convince me. Aye, aye. That's cool, that's cool. I would give it a yeah. regular four times per day. Mm -hmm. Like a, the level one spells. The level one spells. Yeah, that's, it's that's cool. balanced. Alright. Then, then you, you get holy, holy resistance. resistance. You have yep. resistance to radiant damage. And, and uh, then I guess. And by the base feat, you get resistance to necrotic damage. So. So you're kind of like an anathema. Well, I mean, there's static. Ki Whoa, it's three subclasses. The neutral, the good, and the bad. These are Asimars. Completely. Then you have by all the features. Then you have Light's Judgment. Go for yourself. You know the Light Cantrip? When you reach third level, you can cast the Guiding okay. Bolt spell once, once per long rest. And, when, oh. you reach, <laughs> and you, when you reach the fifth level, you can cast the Branding Smite nice. spell once per long rest. Right, that's cool. The that's cool. Spell that's, that's, cool. that's cool. Yeah. All right. After Overall, that, you have this, your Yep. I've got Overall, the, yeah, the I, they're very cool. well built. They're very well built. Now let's find out my simple uh, wolven boys. The so the worgen. What do you get with the worgen? So of course we're gonna skip all over the fluff and go directly to the traits. What? What? I'm curious if anyone spoke anything because I can't connect to the chat. No fucking idea. Man. You know what? Yeah. And you should take a look. I am. Well, I'm kidding. having no idea. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Maybe okay, that. so, the worgen traits. You got your strength increased by two and your dexterity by one. Which, you know, kind of makes sense with the an animalistic nature. Yep. Right? Then, you age like humans. Oh, you, but you, 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 you get the, the surnames of Grey Mane. Yeah, Moonfang, Missile Mantle. Bloodfang oh, blood yeah. and Darkwalker. That's fucking cool. Nice. All right, so you age like humans, but you never feel the weaknesses of old age. So stat-wise, you don't get those uh, pluses and minuses. Yep. That's fucking I mean, cool. You yeah, no, it makes get sense. the pluses, not the minuses, because you 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 don't, you don't feel, feel the strain, the but strain. you get the wisdom benefits yeah. and the. Uh, yeah. I mean, Greymane would kind of fit this build since he's an absolute combat monster. <laughs> of course, you and your friend. Thank you. To both of you. Yeah. Thank you. We had like six for like ten minutes. So, for those of you faithful, the worgen tend to become chaotic. While originating from humans, their infection of the blood with the wolves. Eh? Of their blood with the wolves. Okay, so it's community made. We can kind of accept the these. infection of their blood yeah, yeah, with yeah, the what? wolves has made them more unpredictable. It's I, I bad, hate the phrasing. I hate the phrasing, but it's bad. correct. But I hate the phrasing. Yeah. By the way, so the size is as human. You're up to six feet, but but when you're a worgen, you stand well over six feet tall, weigh around two fifty pounds, and your size is medium. You're a war machine. Fuck yeah. You are heavy metal and cringy by your music. All in one. Worgen, all Worgen plays bass. Yeah. <laughs> right. Then you get a 30 feet walking speed. You get a dark vision, the base version of dark vision, so 60 feet. You get hunter's lore. You gain proficiency with one of the following skills. Animal handling, nature, perception, stealth, or survival. All right. I can, I can see the theme here. It's pretty good. Then you can speak common in one extra language. Alright, alright. Then you get the awesome feature. You get two forms. Using one minute. Oh god, it takes one minute to transform. Can you imagine that fucking. Oh, yeah. Well, if even in game, it, it takes about five seconds. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ooh. <sighs> so, using one minute, you can transform yourself into a human. While human, you appear as you did before uh, getting affected by the. So, wait, as a worgen, you can become a worgen. Yeah. As a human, you can become a worgen. Yeah. Huh. You can switch the forms whenever you like. No, 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 I mean, like. for example, right, right, if we'd run an adventure and I'd start out as human, I could become a ward. Yeah, if you accept the curse. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. The like they did the cinematics. I know, I know, I know, I remember. That's cool, though. Yeah. So, 
you always appear as the same human when you transform, right? Yourself. You can transform back into Worgen as a free action on your turn. There you go. So transforming back into a human takes some time and, and it's problematic. You know, to but buff up the fur balls. Yeah. But back into wolf form takes fucking six seconds. Let's go. You're in attack mode. Well, you you, you can do this shit uh, what you can do with the transformation. <laughs> no, I know. It's so cruel. Jumping just through church's out. windows. By the way, your base walking speed is 35 as a worgen, and you get a climbing speed of 20 feet. G there you go. G -fuel. Yes, you get G fuel. <laughs> then you get a bite of 1d6 plus strength, and you get viciousness. You can throw yourself into a vicious frenzy, huh? Yep. As a bonus action, you can make a special attack with your bite. If the attack hits, it deals normal damage, and you gain temporary hit points equal to your constitution modifier. And that's it for a short or a long rest. Well, so that's your pop heal. Yep, you can you can pop chomp someone. Yep. You know what? I'm a satisfied. A bit of I'm just, the... Yeah, I'm satisfied. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Your turn again. Oh, yeah, let's go. So. Mm, it's annoying, this one. I, I have to be broody. I have to be... But have you sacrificed everything? Infused by the void himself. Okay. Easy there. Did you come? Yeah. A bit. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so we have the <laughs> Void Elves. Hell they're shaped wrong. by the Void. They're exiled from their home. They have a tragic backstory. They They've like from two to void. three Voids, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You blah, should blah. work with, with your DM to determine the source of your transformative powers. Well, I guess it's the Void. It's the Void. You, you touch something that shouldn't be touched. Someone's void. <laughs> One of the two to three voids that you shouldn't really touch. Yeah. Other than if you're on the RP server. And the tentacles are sprouted out. Yay! Alright, so. so. Their affiliation, of course, it's exiled from Kaltanas. Small exile group of blood elves. Alright, so. Ah, surnames of Cold Trail, Night Feast, Void Worn. Morn cloud, dusk blood. Okay, so you see where this is going? Yes, that's okay, I see. Oh, of course. Void elf, your traits. Uh, you have a few natural abilities that okay. are shared with the old elven kind. So, your dexterity score is increased by one, your constitution score is increased by one, and your intelligence score is increased by one. A little bit more spread out this time. Yeah, huh. no, no twos. Huh. Void elf reach adulthood at the rate of humans but are not considered to have entered adulthood until they are 60. Mm -hmm. And they can live to become many hundreds of years old with ease. By the way, by the way, you, you were right with the night elves. I did not see any meditation. Yeah. Huh. Just, just sprung up yeah. to mind. That said, many of the void elf have lived for thousands of years due to the power of the sun well, extending their lifespan. So they and are their passiveness in the universe up until recently. What do you know? They're just being created. So, the alignment. Most Void Elves tend to be lawful, much, or much like the Blood Elf. Mm -hmm. uh, those who do become chaotic are those who lose control of the Void Powers. Of the massive Void Powers that your, they harbor. That your life is a continuous swirl of darkness and brutal. Did I mention massive? By yeah. Way? Massive Void Powers. <laughs> and your massive base walking speed of 30 feet. <laughs> That's it? Wait, what? Okay, sure. But you are over six feet tall with it. Little difference between the male and the female. Uh... Uh... In the side. Okay. You get dark, <laughs> you get dark vision. Uh, you get keen senses. Okay. the same on the perception skill. Yeah, fair enough. You get chill of the night. You have resistance to necrotic damage. Then you get the, sp uh, the spatial rift. Oh, it's like the sp uh, fate teleportation, right? As yep. a bonus action, you can open a rift and teleport... 30 feet of your current position, so a bit of Shudder Kai. Mm -hmm. No, it's exactly like yeah. Shudder Kai. Starting at third level, you also gain resistance to all damage when you go through the Spiritual Rift. Your special Rift. Special Rift. Your resistance uh, lasts uh, until the start of your next turn. So for one turn, you're resistant to all everything. the damage. That's pretty cool, though. It's yep, pretty as cool. the Void hugs you. You can speak, read, and write common and uh, Thalassian. Which is a derivative from Darnassian. <laughs> Wouldn't you guess? So that's about it for, for the, the Alliance Void races. Elves and for the Alliance races. Even though some are shorter than the others, 
I can't. I... Some are a bit more minimalist. I got. I'll, I'll say that too. But you know what? Uh, um, let's see. Almost diametrically opposed for the classes you'll see later. Maybe after the break. But I kind of like them and how yeah, they are they're, made. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Now then. Now then, the races of, of the, the horde. horde. So, uh, the other half of you can come back now. Yeah. So, it's, uh, Alliance it's boys go home now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that, no, we still like you. Yeah. But you rejects can come back now. For so the orcs. orcs! Yes. Go ahead. So, first of all, first of all, mindful race, what? Excuse me? Oh, your honorful race. Yeah. All right. So, uh, we're going to skip the fluff again, and let's see. Oh. You get clans for the orcs. Of course. Woo! Nice. Three so, clans? Three clans. Yep. Go. Your strength is increased by one and constitution increased by one as a base orc. Then, you mature at around age 14. <laughs> <laughs> you special kids, you. Yep. They age notably faster and rarely live longer than 75. They live like speed. You know, you know what I think though. Uh, this is half because of their physiology, right? And this is and the, the other half is because they fucking fight all the time. Where is the physiology and the nature? Yeah. So they're both flora and fauna. Yeah. Right. Uh, the way your alignments <laughs> are okay. Innate tendency they, they towards evil. They tend to be chaotic. Evil. No. Uh, so no, no, no. An innate tendency towards evil. evil but many uh, right so they do not have an innate tendency but, but many end up there, there like by mistake or some shit ah, oh I'm, I'm evil now yeah that only takes one kid man yeah right <laughs> evil or not many orcs lean towards chaotic alignments yeah okay you know, it's okay. classic yeah. you then, have spikes on your buildings okay. oh here we go, <laughs> go orcs are muscularly <laughs> built only just towering above humans with the height of six to seven feet. So by one foot? You, <laughs> you tower. You into tower. By one foot. <laughs> and by right. two, that's about 30 centimeters for all then of you normal people. Your speed is so fucking average. Of it's 30, 30 feet. feet. It's 30 feet. Then you got dark vision. Thanks to your blood. <laughs> you pop a vein you see in the dark. <laughs> Look, other... Creatures gain dark vision because of their eyes or nature. This is your blood! <laughs> you get a relentless endurance like the half works in yeah, base D&D. So you can you just don't life. fucking die! <laughs> you came back to life. Unless step. you're unless you're older than 75 years. <laughs> right? No, it's cool, it's cool. Once so. per long rest, if you reach zero eat uh, hit points. You instead drop to one and yeah. continue fucking fighting. I love this one. It with half works as well. This one, one of my favorite. And features. now with full orc as well. Yes, yes, with the uh, third alternative orc in mainline D and D. Go fuck yourself variants. The orc now has all the features of the half orc because, of course, and no minus two intelligence. Yes, it's they're basically uh, not gray half orc. Yeah. But uh, we're not going to talk about that since you're glorious now. Orc class now. Um, so. In this version, in this interpretation, they, of course, can come from many, many clans. But uh, they've slotted, the people from the PDF have slotted them into three clans. The Hunter, the Mystic, and the Warrior clan. So, and you have to choose one. It says it right here. <laughs> so, the Hunter clans. You get another plus one to your dexterity. You get agility, which means um, when you move on your turn in combat... You can double your speed until the end of the turn. Oh, you 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 come from the Shattered Hand and the Bleeding Hollow? Basically. And, and you tend to be more stealthy. Yeah, so uh, if you don't move uh, on a combat round, then you can use two movement wow. uh, increments so you just in one. Uh, you pump just yourself up. You rev up. Yeah, so for example, right, you're, uh, you're needy fighting an enemy, but then you finally get to kill him after not moving for a while, and then you can use two movements at once without even dashing. This but is awesome. dashing as well. Fuck me. So you get your quad movement. Yep. We're going to talk you about go. it later. You yeah. go. Yeah, you go. And you gain proficiency in stealth uh, because you're an ambusher. Then, for the Mystic Clans, you can be uh, Shadow Moon or Storm Reaver, yep. whatever. Your wisdom increases by one. You get Ancestral Call, so you can cast Augury once uh, without material components. 
and you cast it with wisdom. One, yeah, per one square per long rest, and you cast it with wisdom. Yeah, it's kind of like the boxy, but improved. It's kind of like the boxy, but improved. And then you get mystic lore, a uh, proficiency with arcana, so you can like trace glyphs and yep. realize all the rituals of blood. Because you know. And then the uh, the cool boys of the bunch, uh, the war song, burning blade, or frost wolves. You get the warrior class, right? And your strength increases by one. Finally, you get a powerful build, you so you more become muscular. a. <laughs> so fucking fibrous. <laughs> so <laughs> dense, my guy. You're so dense. <laughs> and you get the best feature that every orc should have in his arsenal: the savage attacks. When you roll critical hits, you add one of the weapons dies again to uh, the crit. I'm, I'm very curious if they ever gonna gonna put, uh, I think brutal or what's the name? Brutal critical? No, no, no. Uh, as a as a feature of the race to be aggressive. Uh, they do have that in D and D with one of the variants of orcs. Yeah. The one which doesn't have the minuses is also aggressive and it oh, can yeah, move yeah, up the, yeah. its movement speed. Yeah. As uh, just as, as, a, as, thing. A, as a bonus action. Yep. Even though it's expended all of its movement, it can do so again. Yeah. Towards so, an enemy creature. Yeah, that attacked a friend that turn. Oh, you get the uh, the, the rocker, the rock mm, boys, mm, the mm, mm. the uh, the decaying waifus. Of course, the the best punk band. <laughs> Go ahead, sure, buddy. <laughs> oh come on, you have dreadful looks. Just like with the dreadlocks, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What else can they do? You are affiliated. <laughs> 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 So just like most Twitch streamers nowadays, yeah. they are affiliated. <laughs> so to the first second, do not trust anyone. No one trusts them. All of that. The the feature is called affiliation. So yeah, they have partners. Uh, name come from the human or the blood elves. So wherever they stem yeah. from. The forsaken trait. Maybe they would be not with minuses in like in D and D. No, they're not. So your constitution score is increased by one. But that's all. You're done. But you have subtypes. Yeah. So. Forsaken do not age, they are undead. <laughs> they so they would be the same age age as they died. Yep. Uh Forsaken alignment varies as the race origin. But uh, they do become, become more, chaotic more chaotic in yeah. undead. Your size it's that of your race. Mm -hmm. So I guess you get the traits from your race. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them. Let's just look it up. Some look it up. of them, okay. Dark vision, Forsaken can see yeah, okay. normal, up to six and in dark vision. Cannibalism. <laughs> cannibalism. Since you cannot use that term, cannibalism, in Twitch. Cannibalism. Okay, using one minute, you can cannibalize. You can eat banana. You can eat banana. <laughs> Stemming out of other people parts. <laughs> <laughs> of a humanoid that has been dead for less than one hour. When done, you regain a number of hit points sequel Whoa. to your level plus uh, your <laughs> constitution <laughs> modifier. Community made, my guys. Community yep. made. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Once you use this trait, you can stay again until you finish a short rest. Uh, it's so pretty cool. a level plus constitution for eating one dead body. A banana. A banana. Then you get the sub races. And there's a lot of them. Oh, oh, oh you, you get, get more. Get, you get you more, get more th you, stuff. Okay, you get touch of the grave, that you do not need sleep. Huh. Instead, they enter a semi-conscious huh. state of afterlife for four hours a day. So these boys <laughs> get up with meditation. Yeah, yeah, after racing this way, you gain the same benefits for your night hours. All right, that's pretty sleep. cool, though. You are undead, so you have two creature types, humanoid and undead. You can be affected by a game effect that works on either one of them. Mm -hmm. but so for example, you heal with uh, poisons? It's the nice variant rule with undead. Mm. You heal with poison? Because you have resist. Okay, sure. You have so resistance. The next one is that you do not require food or water. Uh -huh. You have resistance to poison damage and advantage on saving throws against poison because right. you are poison. Yeah. Then you have the will of the Forsaken. Whoop. Oh no. So. What do? All right. You have advantage on saving throws against being charmed, effects that turn undead, and magic can't put you to sleep. Nice. Wait, so they're more elven than elves. Yeah, but they, look, you give, it makes sense. It no, it gives makes them sense. a bit of turn and dead immunity, so your cleric around here cannot just fuck them up. I mean, since they're a player race, you know, you kind of have to have this caveat, this balancing yeah. act. Because if not, I mean, I'd be a little shit dwarven cleric. They'd just go, yeah, party member, fuck, fuck off. <laughs> you can speak, read, and write common and gutter speak. 
that is a simple form of common that mixes in dwarven and thalassian <laughs> slurs. So it's just common with uh, more slurs. Marvelous. Then you, you have. You can say fuck. You can say fuck in many languages. Then Three. you are of two sub races. Yeah. You can be a forsaken elf. That uh, your ability score is increased in intelligence. in intelligence by one. You get the Calderay legacy. The Calderay legacy. The Calderay legacy. The Calderay legacy. Sure. You can cast magic missiles and shield with this trait using oh, intelligence shit. or spell casting ability for them. Once you cast either spell, you can't cast it again with this trait until you finish a short or long rest. So one cast for each spell yeah. per uh, short rest. Yep. All right. Then you get uh, to know how to read and write Thalassia. And the Forsaken Human. Yes. Uh, once a proud member of Lord yeah, Duran, da, 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 all of da. that, now broken. Your ability score is increased. Uh, one of one other ability score of your choice increased by one. Mm -hmm. So any other. Yeah, basically. Then you get human resolve. Which is exactly so when you make like an attack roll and yeah. ability check, you get to roll it again. It's the base thing of the human. Then you get the cows. <sighs> you wanna take this one or nah, should I? Have fun. So apparently I'm getting the big races today. <laughs> yeah. The Thor. Oh, the true gang the of Thor. A peaceful race. Majestic in appearance. They average out at about seven and a half feet tall and 400 pounds. While females are usually a bit shorter and lighter. Tauren are mostly muscle, having incredibly developed physiques. Next. So, you get a, a couple of base traits and then you have a couple of sub races here as well. Your strength increases by two. Then you reach adulthood in your mid teens and mo most. <laughs> I, I thought must. <laughs> most grow to be 80 years old. Few live beyond a century. Then, of course, you gotta be lawful keeping to your tribal code. Those who are evil are sent upon. Anyway, so. You, so actually, you're between seven and nine fucking feet tall. We, your uh, your size is medium. Yeah, your size is so <laughs> medium. <laughs> Fuck me, man. A nine feet tall, yeah. Torin. A nine feet tall, medium, Torin. Uh, you got thirty feet walking speed. It's because the hooves. The then you got dude, uh, the you one are you are two meters seventy. You're almost three meters tall. Yeah. Uh. And built like a fucking attack truck. <laughs> but you're medium. But you're medium. Uh, then you get horns, which add you uh, an attack uh, of 1d6 plus strength modifier. You get powerful build. You get Torrent weapon training uh, for uh, halberds. The Torrent totems, totems, yes! yes! Short bow. <laughs> Short bow. Just here. And long bows. You read, write, speak, common, and Torahi. Torahi is a harsh and low sounding language. Without a proper alphabet, their written language is made of elaborate pictures. More harsh. Pictures. There you go. Right. So, you get three uh, sub races High Mountain Torrin, Mulgar Torrin, and Winter Torrin. We're gonna get those. High so, Torrin, uh, Medium Torrin, and Cold Torrin. Yeah. So, High Mountain Torrin uh, have a wisdom increase by one. They're mountaineers, so they like it up oh God. high. Uh, you're naturally adapted to cold climates. Nice. Uh, so you get resistance to cold damage, yada, 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 and to the extreme effects of cold. Then you got rugged tenacity. You, uh, like the uh, Goliath from base D&D, you get to roll a d12, add the constitution modifier, and ignore this much damage once a short or long rest. Nice. Yeah, so it's basically a pump. Just toughen your yep. skin for a moment. No, you snoot it. Right. Just pumped up some milk. Yeah. And go on. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then the Mulgar Torin, they're peaceful and honorable people. Nonetheless, our fire fighters when aroused. All right. So <laughs> you rouse, not the aroused. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's funnier this way. So right. you get a you get a half efficiency uh, tough. By endurance. Oh, so like the dwarves. Yep. 
you get a wisdom increase by one. Oh, so I get the dwarves. Yeah. And then you get the war storm. You can cast Earth Tremor once with this trait by stomping your hoof into the ground and regain the ability to do so when finishing a long rest. Strength is your spell casting ability for this spell. You stupid. And then there's the Winter Torrent or Tonka. The Tonka are an ancient offshoot of the Yongol and relatives. To the okay, so oh, just go your on. constitution score increases by one. You have resistance to cold damage. You're a natural athlete and a trunder walker. You can move across difficult terrain, made of ice or snow, without expending extra movement. And that's it for the Tauren. Pretty fun, pretty God, fun. God bless us. God bless you for the next accent. Trolls, I would not do any accent. But what about the kind of bananalism? <laughs> Voodoo! <laughs> That's the bone! So, the trolls without accents. That's the bone! Tall and muscular. That's the bone. They are also affiliated. <laughs> to what? Tall and muscle. <laughs> to the names. Alright, so let's find so, out what they do. Uh, your troll trait, basically. Your dexterity is increased by one. Uh, a troll reaches adulthood in their late teens and generally dies within a century. So, kind of like a human. Yeah. Uh, they are a neutral race. Race. Their alignment varies drastically between them. The most tend to be lawful, though. Yeah. Because uh, got travel shit They going on. tower above other races with an average height of seven feet. Yeah. Your size is medium, and you are slouched. <laughs> Wait. It no, says no, so? it, it doesn't. Oh. So. Well, you, you, you can be from Zandalar and you stand tall. And, and then you're like 10 feet tall, fuck you. Yeah. But you have uh, dark vision mm -hmm. for 60 feet. You get regeneration. Oh, shit, that's cool. For each hit die spend at the end of a short rest, you add twice your constitution modifier it's, uh, trait. It's, what is it? It's resilient or... It's a feat. It's a feat. It's a feat. It's a feat in base D&D. Um, and you can never go below that number with the feat. Mm, yeah. It's pretty good. And then you get languages, you can uh, read, write, common, and... ZANDALI! <laughs> and you get four main sub-races. Oh. Good. <laughs> First one is the forest troll. No, no, you have to choose one! <laughs> it's, it, they have, it's only for... By the way, only the, uh, the horde races need to have this <laughs> stated, that you need to choose one, because Alliance players know this. So for our boys in red, yes. the first troll we're going to talk about is the forest troll. Basically, your ability score is increased by two. In Constitution? You have, uh, in Constitution, yes. You get Mask of the Wild, advantage on stealth checks, when oh. likely obscured by plants or other types of foliage. It's pretty good, though. So a, a half elf, but only with nature. You get Green half elf. You get green half elf. You get the wilderness knowledge. Mm. Yeah, no, I just... Uh, you get proficiency with two of the following skills of your choice. Mm -hmm. Either animal handling, nature, perception, stealth, or survival. Mm. So it's pretty tribal in nature, as you expect. And they're independent, independent from, from the horde. horde. Forest trolls are very secluded, remaining in the ashes of their old empire. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Yeah, so you don't have to choose a side yet. They openly practice cannibalism, <laughs> making them disliked by the members of the Horde. These trolls, few other races as beneath them, uh, but we'll not hesitate to ally Wait, them. These trolls, few other races. I think uh, view, 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 view other, other races, races as, as beneath, beneath them. them. But we'll not hesitate Excuse to ally me, them. Excuse me, they're fantasy races. I never knew that. Well, I mean, you get to fight a lot of them, and mm. and wow, so I get it. So next one, it's the ice troll. <laughs> you are strong and hardly accustomed to cold climates. Oh, you, are, you rise oh. above other troll subspecies and tend toward the lighter coloration. Wait, you're taller? You count as one size larger because you've got powerful health. So your strength right. is increased by two. Yep. You have uh, frost war skin. You have resistance to cold damage. Hmm. You get the, power si the powerful build that raises your size when carrying stuff. Dragon pushing rear lifting yeah. though. The tundra walker. You can move across difficult terrain of ice and snow. And you get affiliation. Again, you get no affiliation. Yeah. You're independent. Uh, ice trolls are steadfastly loyal to themselves above all others. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yep. Then you get the jungle trolls. You have a knowledge of the voodoo. voodoo. 
ferocity unmatched by your skin and the nanny form tribal society Ooh, you're kind of like the lizzy boys however your constitution score is increased no, no, no. by one you're shorter than any other troll species ah <laughs> and a skin of purple or gray coloration i don't like this aesthetic my friend your constitution score is increased by one and your wisdom score is increased by one you get berserking Whenever you score a critical hit with a weapon oh. attack, you can re-roll one of the Savage weapon damage, damage die and use oh. either roll of the damage. Yeah, fair enough. You have the Gurubashi Guru weapon training. You have proficiency with the hand axe, javelin, and spear. Hmm. Then the <laughs> the <laughs> voodoo shuffle. Hmm. You ignore non-magical difficult wow. terrain at your base speed Fuck. is increased to 35 feet. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. You Michael Jackson, your way. <laughs> mm, they do have the dance. <laughs> they do have the then you get the Zandalari trolls. The tall and unparalleled orcs. Yes. Trolls. With unparalleled connection to the Loa. Oh god. The Loa. And that marvelous. The Loa. <laughs> and you kill them. <laughs> yep. Your wisdom is increased by one. The Loa. <laughs> and your charisma is increased by, by one. The we're gonna take a break after the races. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm sorry. Uh, you gain proficiency <laughs> in history skill. Then you get the... Embrace, just the embrace without any other particular... <laughs> the laws embrace! There you go. You know the guidance cantrip when you reach third level? You can cast guiding hand spell once per long rest. <laughs> when you reach the fifth level, you can also uh, cast the enhanced ability oh, spell per long rest. Using that fish oil, <laughs> and wisdom is your spell casting abilities for this spell. However, when you cast, cast this version, version of, of guiding, guiding hand, hand, the hand appears as a tiny animal representing a specific law. There you go. <laughs> pretty cool though. So, Overall, they're, they're very thematic. They're very so varied. Far, so far, I'm liking all of them. Yeah, yes. they're pretty cool. I get the gay ones. Oh god, I wanted the gay ones. So, so, in the blood elves. A proud society. They have a quote about them, written by Kelfa Sunstrider himself, that I dare not read. But they're beautiful and graceful. They have some affiliations, they have some names, but most importantly, they have traits. Their dexterity score increases by two, and the density score increases by one. They age at the rate of humans, but are only adults at age 60, and can live to become many hundreds of years old with ease. That said, many of us have lived for thousands of years at the power of the sun will continue their lifespan. They have a very militant society. Strict rules have been made for people to uphold, pushing them mostly towards a lawful alignment. Hopefully there wouldn't be a problem about how we call them. What? Nothing. Ooh. I just realized we may have been too rude, but uh... No one will ever remember. Hopefully. Our three viewers are loyal. Aren't you? <laughs> then... Quickly they subscribe to they that. really don't tower. Just under six feet tall and weigh behind and under seventy-five pounds. They're the lightest race so far, by the way, excluding the gnomes. So, you get walking speed of thirty feet and dark vision and keen senses, and you can cast detect magic and magic weapon with intelligence. Once for short or long rest. Well, you get the you know a cantrip of your choice from the high elves with intelligence. And then you get. Called Dore weapon trading. You're proficient in longbows, in Dore war blades and clay. <laughs> That's it for the uh, for the race. Oh god damn it! I wanted these ones. See? I wanted these ones, man. Go ahead. All right. No, goblins. No, there's anything? Yeah, no, that's it. That's, that's it. it. No. Goblins. Listen, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> goblins. <laughs> So, so, you're intelligent and more charismatic rigoristic. Like one and two, specifically. Then, 
You die within a hundred years. Like things should. <laughs> you tend to be chaotic. And even when you're lawful, you've got chaotic. <laughs> you're between three and four feet tall. S somewhat slender. Except the nose. You get 30 feet, not like those fucking gnomes. And then, you can see in the dark, get the best. Come on. You get the best deals anywhere. You get advantage on any ability check made to appraise the price of an item. Then, you get goblin engineering, not like those gnomes. You get cooler tinker tools. It's exactly the same, but listen, these ones are better. You get the best deals anywhere. Listen up. You can rocket jump as an action. You can fire a rocket and 30 feet jump. Woo! Or, or, right? You can distribute it however you want. Five feet in the air, they're 25 feet in this, this direction. Or, or, hear me out. 30 feet in a spiral, straight up. Or, 15 feet up and then the rest down. It's the best one. Then you get a blast, a rocket blast. You get flash powder. You choose a point. Creatures within 10 feet of this point must not be blind unless they roll under an 11 on their dexterity. The other ones are blind. Then you gain proficiency with alchemist supplies. For reasons. You're proficient in firearms. So the, this is the horde the equivalent with firearms. Yep, pretty much. And the most important one, time is money! So you're profi- uh, no wait. As a bonus action, you can shout at an ally and command them to move. Then, that bot uh, can use his reaction to move up to its speed without provoking- Wow. Opportunity attacks. So this is a uh, maneuver for- It's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a maneuver. No, it is the maneuver. Yeah. And, that's it for a short rest! You get the next ones. Oh, oh, oh I yes get the other do. ones. My guy, I get the Nightbone races. Elves. Thingy. Hyper civilization. The Nightborn. <laughs> With the variety of natural abilities harnessed by the old traditions and the power of the Night Wolf. Oh, go fuck yourself. Not living in dumpsters, nor crashes. Your dexterity score is increased by one, and your intelligence score is increased you by two. You did there. Uh, you age? Uh, they... You age? Re you reach physical you maturity age. at about the same age as the human. And you just keep aging. Yeah. Their understanding of adulthood goes beyond physical growth to encompass the world experience. Oh, there you fucking go. These are the classic Yeah, elves. so about the classical elves in D&D. &D, mm -hmm. Nightboard typically claims adulthood at 100. Yeah. And Just like the classical... And can live to society. become several thousands years old. Mm -hmm. Sustained by the night well, many have lived since the War of the Ancient. I can, My see, I can see a problem here. Yeah, you know everything. You just know everything. I'm reminded of a certain friend we have in a certain Witcher-themed campaign. <laughs> you know who you are. That doesn't have the alignment of order and structure. Oh, go for <laughs> Morality. Giving them... Morality. Giving most of the Nightborn a lawful alignment. You stand around 7 feet tall and weigh between 180 and 240 pounds. But they're the alternative Night Elves. And your side is medium. Mm -hmm. You walk at 30 feet. You have dog vision, since you're a dog. Then. <laughs> you have keen senses, seeing in perception, and through the masks of I know you're proficient. Okay. You are proficient yeah, in the yeah. perception skill, mm -hmm. and through the mask of the players that try to hide in your city. You're a lore keeper. You get proficiency with arcana and the artisan tools, more specifically the uh, calligrapher supplies. Oh, that's cool. You got uh, mental worthy. You have advantage on all intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws against magic. Jesus fucking Christ, that's ludicrously strong. Yep. 
get dark vision, superior one. So wait, you get dark vision and then a couple of rows later you get more dark vision! <laughs> Has a radius of 120 feet. Hmm. So you choose a point and from that point you have a radius of 120 feet of dark vision. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, wait a minute. <laughs> what? No, you get superior yeah, dark, okay, okay, dark, okay, okay. dark vision. Then you have the sunlight sensitivity. Oh, you're a drow. You're okay. a drow. You have yeah. DPS adventure and attack rolls and wisdom perception checks that you on sight when you're in the sun. Mm. Then you know how to speak, read, and write common and uh, Shalassian. So, Shalassian, like Thalassian, or, uh, originates or, or from Darnassian. <laughs> Man, go fuck. Has been scrutinized through the ages, making it nearly impossible for members outside of the nightboard to read or write. So, you have your own little druidic language. Then you oh, have the independent races. Which is only one. <laughs> okay, 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 fine. I get you, the final you, you big get guys. The okay, so I get the Pandaren. Right? They're, they're a very spi they're a spiritual race. And they're also furries. <laughs> Not degenerates like on the internet, just wholesome furries. They're affiliated, so you know they're good. And they have the following traits. Right? You're very wise. One point wiser! And you're very funny, and insightful, and charismatic, by two. Then, you age mostly like humans, but... That's it. But that's it, really. It's exactly oh like humans. F fighting an evil aligned Pantera is unusual. <laughs> yeah, so you're so good, or neutral, <laughs> right? You're so good, or neutral. You're good, or neutral. <laughs> then, you know... Most Pandaren stand just short of seven feet tall and average around two fucking sixty pounds. You'll never find a Pandaren who's slim. <laughs> but your size is medium. Then, you get thirty feet. And that's it. You get to be a gourmet with cook's utensils and brewer supplies. Proficiency, that is. Then, you get iron pots. Your unarmed strikes deal 1d4 plus strength bludgeoning damage. You're, a, you're, you're the very unarmed monk. You're Po. My guy, you're <laughs> Po. Then you get Pandaren resilience against saving throws, against poisons, and resistance against poison damage. Because you're fucking drunk all the time. <laughs> then you've got proficiency with clubs, quarter staffs, and spears. Like a. Like a monk. Yep. Then you get. <laughs> when you hit another creature with an unarmed strike, you can use your innate powers to attempt to disable it. <laughs> discombobulate. Then discombobulate. <laughs> <laughs> so, you hit a motherfucker, right? <laughs> and... And he gets a constitution saving throw. I don't know against what or DC or whatever. Just a constitution saving throw. Or he's stunned until the end of your next turn. Wisdom. No, constitution. Oh, wisdom is your saving throw ability for this feature. Okay. So you can see the cheese in the chakras. My guy, you can permanently keep a guy just... <laughs> oh, it's when you hit the creature. Ah. Oh, well. Until your next turn. Yeah, but you, can, oh, you can't use fuck. these features again until you finish your long God rest. Damn it. That was that's too bad. That would just keep <laughs> a guy. Pow! P -p Pow! Shit. By the way, you can speak, read, and write common and mogul. Mogul's the language of Pandaria. Forced upon the inhabitants by the Mogul Empire. Okay. And then that's done with the races. So after the break, we're going to look, uh, I think, a bit faster the over the classes. classes. But well, there are not as many classes. Oh, there are not as many classes. So you got your druid, hunter, mage, monk, paladin, priest, rogue, well, shaman, classes. warlock, warrior, death knight, and demon hunter. Uh, 13. 13 classes, none with a d12. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, because you don't have barbarians in this setting. All right. So... We're going to be right back after the break. So uh, for our two faithful ones, stick with us. Yep, we're going to start with the druid. Be back in 15. <laughs> 